Hello, babies. Hello, folks. How are we doing? Be there in a minute. Give me a drink. doing? Anybody want to come chat in the box? Wow. Interesting. Twilight, where are you? Why am I coming here? Discord. I am the owner. We're gonna start some shit tonight, aren't we? You just wait for me to come live so you can come start some shit. See it now. Behave yourself. Hey, uh, I will just, I mentioned last night, and I'm asking you guys a favor. That group of people, YSO, XO.JMitch, if, if I'm hanging out with you, just please don't put them in the box. They have files. As long as you don't mention them and we okay. don't talk about them, I don't I'm, have to bring them in here to defend themselves. Right. So there's no defending doxing my family, having addresses for my nephew and my parents. Right. And, and they're saying you're saying the same thing. So I don't want to have don't. this back and forth. Oh yeah, no, you're good. I will, I will off app. I will message you the message where they did it. I don't dox. So Q Y, oh, what is, what are you doing here, Hail Satan? Good grief! You don't got anything better than Hail Satan. Yeah, I'm just saying if I hang out here, don't have them up. But it's your platform, so if you want to have them up, just warn me in advance so I can leave. There's a lot of bad blood there, especially when it comes to family. I know. I just. So just I'm okay with do you. It. I'm not I just, it's, yeah. I just don't. Whenever, whenever things are said that cause me to have to choose between you and women, I can't deal well, with that. So I want you, I want you to understand something. You're not choosing between men and women. You're choosing. Between but that's what it looks like on a public platform, though. But see, here's my thing. I don't care about perception. I care about reality. This is a group who will burn it to the ground, anarchists, to not vote for Democrats, who say we're shitty. I have multiple screenshots of them talking shit about you, Belinda, me. 
I know they talk bad about me. So That's they, they no. come in to buddy up to get me kicked off, and then you just do that. They're not. They're off. not buddying up to me. It's not about buddying up to me. I don't believe that they're my friends for a second. But it's well, about so just, it's just, about saying things about women and me. I can't. I'm I'm concerned about negative talk about women and then it having a backlash overall. Okay, it's not it's not about you specifically. It's just about. No. I can't say that I'm an activist and I speak for women's rights. And then you're saying that, that PR word. And then I can't, I have to say something. I did. I, I didn't say the insult. Do you know what the insult is? I know. But last night it was being said repeatedly. I didn't say it. What, what is the insult that Coco brought up? What, what is that insult? You know what it is. I'm not going to say it. It's pretendian, which I did not say. I you responded to a comment. Again. You said you didn't know it. I'm telling she you. She just what came on live. It okay. just showed me that she's live now. She's going to be. Who is? Who? X XO. Oh, of course she is. That was the word I was told not to use. So I didn't. I said, you have anywhere to go and play pretend. Did not say that slur. Did not mention it. Just but go you, some. You knew that's, that, they would, that they would key that. That they would pick up on that. You know what dog whistles are just as much as I do. I mean, my problem is with this group on the left, it's never going to stop, never going to be good enough. It's going to keep going. And to be honest with you, I am not discussing them anymore. I can't control anymore. what they do. I, not, I can't control I not what they do. Anymore. I can control you as my friend right. to say right. not there, to there say be, sexist things. Yeah, there will be no yelling, none of that shit. Just I'm asking, please, before, because I walk away from my phone. I pace when I talk. If you're going to put people up, you know, can't stand me. At least I know. you say and now that. I'm, now and I'm then... going to tell you. They're asking to come in again. And I'm not bringing oh them God. in because you didn't say anything off the mark. Yeah. yeah, I just would prefer if you and I are going to hang out. We hang out and they can, we can talk stalking me around Because you app. haven't said anything off the mark. Yep. So I want to ask, how was your Christmas? Um, it was, it was pretty good. It was nice. Um, just a little, you know, just the immediate family. Um, I had a friend come in from out of town, which was kind of cool. She didn't really have anybody, so it was nice to bring her in. And, oh, that's um, nice. She, uh, you know what? She's got this lady. I thought she was in an abusive relationship. The government's after her. I'm like, she goes, I know you probably won't believe me because every time I tell somebody, somebody gets to them and then they don't believe me anymore. I Why is like, he? She, uh, I, and I was like, it's all right. I said, I don't have anything to win or lose over it. I said, we've been talking on the internet for months. And uh, she, uh, she told me, I guess she's a retired postal worker. And or she was close to retirement and she got hurt on the job and they wouldn't listen to her when she got hurt. So they made her work an extra five years. And during that time, she got hurt even worse. You guys, I told you. If he comes in here and says something sexist or says something off the wall about women, then I have to say something. But you guys coming in here. In my life, attacking him is not going to work. Okay? I, it's not fair for you to come in here in my life. That is not me. You guys and him have another thing. It's the same thing as y'all going in Georgia Pup's live and making a big deal when he was in there. I don't believe in people involving a third party in something that doesn't belong to them. Now, when he came in here and said something off the mark about women and things like that in my life, I, I took him out. But he hasn't done anything in this life for me to do that. And I'm not going to sit here and kick him out of my life just because a bunch of people came in here and rallied on him. This is, I am not platforming somebody. I am having a conversation with someone that I have been friends with, with for months. 
months. He did not become my friend just in the last couple of days when you guys started sparring. He's been my friend since I've been on this app. And now all of a sudden, because he said something wrong, I'm supposed to not be his friend anymore. This is a public platform. You are more than welcome to block me. You are more than welcome to block him. That is the privilege of being on a public platform. You do not have to listen to either one of us. We are not in a public square where anybody is being slandered or anybody is being talked about. We are talking about my Christmas. We are not even talking about anybody else. Then if, then if somebody is watching him, then they can continue watching. I am all about watching. You want to watch? Get your camera out. Watch. I'm all about public. If you know about me, I'm a whistleblower and a half. I put it all out there. I tell people all the time, I don't have skeletons in my closet. They're sitting in my freaking living room drinking beer. So I'm all about public everything. This idea that this 54-year-old woman is going to be intimidated because a bunch of people try to tell me what to do is wrong. Keep messing with the crazy woman. So now you're going to fling words at me because you think you're going to get a rise out of me by bringing up children. How many creators on here have told you not to bring up children into an argument? How many? You're not asking for shit. You're coming in here demanding for results. And I'm saying you can't demand for shit from me. You do not have to be here. In fact, I can turn my comments off and we can settle that. Anyway, this friend of mine, um, she worked at the post office. Anyway, she got hurt and she filed the claim and so then they were investigating her. And evidently, somehow during the investigation, two officers had gotten uh, hurt. And so now they think that she's uh, an unaliver of people in the Bureau. And so now they've been haunting her and watching everything she's doing and stuff. So now nobody wants anything to do with this woman. I'm like, oh, I just met you here at the Applebee's. I don't know anything. I don't know you from Adam. I'm just talking to you. And she goes, they'll come out here and tell you not to have anything to do with me. I'm like, I don't even care. I don't care. I, I'm a different animal. People don't know me. I'm just, that's just who I am. Maminko, quit justifying it. You follow about 200 underage women on this app. Please stop trying to justify it. I went to your following list. You've got 30 seconds. You can make it private, okay? 30 seconds. I'm going to pull up on my iPad, and we'll get to all look at it together. I'd probably just make it private. Just saying. So now I'm supposed to calm down. Do I look like the one that's upset? I'm not upset either. I am an animal. We're all animals. I believe we're all mammals. (laughs) 
He put it on private. Smart move. <laughs> Very smart move, buddy. Very good choice. Leave it on private. So many outrage kids. Well. Ugh. Rose, what did you get into tonight? Oh, I didn't really get into anything. I was having a really go good conversation in Dr. Root's live, and then something happened, and the whole live went down. It's like... I, so I was going to a restaurant with friends. I was rolling up when you requested and hopped in. I think you missed it because I was like, hey, I'm not ducking you, but I'm really at a restaurant. I go to eat dinner. Love you guys. Have fun. Mm -hmm. And then I don't know if you even got to hear it because somebody said something about Rosebud ran Travis off. And I was like, ha ha, no. And I was like, no, like, I was being like really serious. Like, I didn't try to jet on her. It was just I was literally going into a restaurant. Like it was just bad mm -hmm. timing for all of us. Yeah, I I don't um, calm down, Rose. What are you talking about? <laughs> I think she's calm. Zach's going to get chilled out if he doesn't quit spamming my comments. Why are they spamming this? I guess it's another tactic. Oh, facetious. He's being facetious. Mm. I was going to say, the entirety of the far left and the entirety of the far right is absolutely wrong. And it's never going to work in America. I wish it would. I would love I talked to my best friend today for the first time in like over a year because she's conservative. And we had a big falling out about it because I don't, I, I, even for her, I don't t stop talking politics. I don't because I think it's important. I think it is. And I think Rudy made a really good point about two months ago about how everything has to come back to the middle. We went from an established family in the Clintons to Trump. We tried something out there off the wall. It didn't go well. Now our party wants to go back to moderate and so do the Republicans. But he gets a lot of crap from both the sides. The thing is, the whole the whole country's in denial because we have a whole bunch of people that don't give a shit about anybody but themselves. And as long yep. as we allow that shit to continue and we don't put that shit in place and, and put a stop to it, nothing's going to change. We spend billions of dollars every year on sitting here pulling a back and forth on the left and the right, and, and we're not getting anything done. Nothing. So I would, I would say my only difference is... And, and I do believe this, and I, and I can back it up with uh, uh, primary uh, debate videos. The left runs on policy. The right runs on fear. So while we ran on policy, they ran on crime and things of that right. nature. And, and this is what I them. ask, <clears throat> because other than the human rights issue, I can work with just about any other policy you bring up. I will sit yeah. down on the right and I will have a chat and work out anything for the greater good of the people. Anything. Yeah. I'll work yeah. out a job policy. I'll work out a tax policy. I'll work out any policy that we could work out to the benefit of all the people. But when it comes to human rights, I'm not budget, budging on anything else. We are not going to continue down this bullshit path of lies. We're not going to continue down this bullshit path of ignorance. We're not going to continue down this bull bullshit path of women dying. We're not right. going to continue down this bullshit path of fascism, denying equality, and everything else. Why is somebody saying that you don't care about their kids? I have no idea. Rose doesn't care. She's about trying. Me. She's trying to get me to feel bad because I'm letting you up here. Oh my lord! And I don't. I don't get manipulated. I mean, keep if in you mind. Think I, if I if somebody thinks that I abuse children, they can call CYS like anybody else. And keep in mind, I have not talked about them at all. 
And I, that's me not playing. Just like if, just like everybody accusing me of stalking people. Oh, I'm stalking somebody. Well, yeah. get your PFA out. Because I'm done with the BS. I'm just done. If, if I'm doing all this on an app, if I'm the Genghis Khan of the world, if I'm doing all this terrible stuff, then get your receipts out. I want to see it because evidently if I'm such a bad human being and I do all this bad stuff, then I want to see the receipts. Otherwise, we're going to shut our pie hole about the negative talk about me. That's just the way it is. So, so when we, all, all the negative, all, all the nastiness, all the accusations, all the baloney, all, all of that, all, all the, oh, just let it go. No, I'm not going to let shit go. I'm not on my own live. I'm not. People don't have to sit here and listen to it. It's not their live. They can, they can scroll on. But if we're going to sit here on my live and think you're going to manipulate me into doing one thing or another, actually... The key with me is every time you push me in one direction, I actually dig my heels in and work the wedge in the other direction because I'm that kind of crazy. But I've tried to say don't mess with the crazy lady now for about a month and nobody believes me. So we'll just go ahead and leave it at that. I probably said it like, I don't know, seven times that I I actually get a disability check for my... Do you know how hard it is for somebody to get disability in America? I think most of us know. That's not easy. I mean, it's it's fairly easy for children if they really have a disability. But I mean, it's very hard to get disability if it is. you are in America. Okay. I have, I get disability for mental issues, for the record. So if that's the case, yes, it's very hard, Marie, very hard. So if I get disability for my mental issues, do you think I'm playing when I say that I'm kind of crazy? Just a little bit. Um, I'm addressing the comments. I never you. said anybody should be afraid of me. But people sit here and accuse me of being all these different things and then get upset whenever I don't back down or I say they're lying or whatever. And I'm saying, you're messing with somebody who has a different way of thinking than everybody else. Stop. So, real quick, they're mad about me using somebody's profile picture, but yet they I'm, it's to... it's beyond that now. They come in yeah. here in my live. When you come in here in my live, accusing me of profiling somebody else, accusing me of platforming somebody else, I take it personal. So. It has now gone from me talking to a friend in my own life to now people taking it personally out on me. So we don't want to leave it with him. We want to chain me to the temper tantrum you're having on an app because you would not want to block him and just move on. And you all you would have to rather do is drag quit showing up where I am and I'll take the pictures down. Stop showing up. That's all I'm asking. Stop showing up and saying things in comments like Travis abuses women. Travis talked about slitting throats. I sent the PFP picture of where that came from to Sarah tonight to explain that conversation from Minkin, a Nazi sympathizer. I've sent this stuff. Y'all continue to talk. I will continue to post photos. So if you want the photos down, do not go into lives I'm in. Do not, like in Roots earlier, where why so join and said, Travis, go away. Do not ever do that again. Stay away from me and stop saying my name and quit talking about me and I'll take the videos down. Period. That's all I'm asking is you just shut your mouth. That's it. 
Simple enough. See that? Trash abuses women. I will keep making posts. Laurel. And all these people that want me to stand for them on a personal level have been in how many lives with me when I've right, been so, with names. So I'm going to show this thing because Laurel. This, We're not showing shit. No, I'm showing. I'm, I'm not showing doing a, that. No, no, I'm showing a kid's. Me and another person were talking to a moderate conservative. He was young. He was in the militia, but he would come into our democratic lives and talk and get along. He wasn't rude. Well, anyway, it, it came to pass that he had a profile picture we couldn't read. We didn't know what it was, what it meant. Well, then we finally found out what it meant. So I'm going to pull up the screenshot of his quote, and that's what I was talking about, so hold on. Because they keep saying, I want to saw people's heads off. So this is what he had in his PFP. Okay. Oh, yeah. That we that was a conversation in Georgia Pups Live. Yes, that, that was Echo that had this as a militia guy. We were having this discussion, and I looked up. And that Echo. guy is still on, on this app, by the way. Yeah. But so these idiots like Laurel are saying that I threatened to cut heads off when what they missed was we were talking to Echo about, have you read the book? Do you know who this guy is? Do you know what a black flag is? Why is this in your bio? So this was what we were talking about. Now, okay. what they're saying in their videos is I am threatening to do the very bottom line to other people when me and Georgia were just trying to get him to take that down. That was it. We just wanted him to take it down. We thought it wasn't helpful. Oh, well, that's what they're complaining about? Yes, they're saying that's that I said I was going about. to slit throats. Yes, they've been saying it ever since we talked to Echo about that PFP. If they've that's what y'all are complaining about, y'all need to go back and have uh, Georgia Pup bring up that live and go back in his records because that was about a fascist person that was in his live that had that on his profile. Yeah, so so why so? It's on video. The entire video that night was so. If us that's what that's Echo about, if that's what militia. that's about, y'all better go fix that. Exo, I am not lying. Uh, Rose was there. We were talking to this kid about getting out of militia, and then librarian survivor was the one that found the quote, clicked on his PFP, and said, "Why is this in your profile?" Now there were a because couple of librarian hardcore leftists. And Natasha and Natasha was yes. there. And, and, there were, and we were, um, Songbird was there We were trying because Songbird to him, was the one that set off the alarm that he was yeah. a fascist. Songbird was the one that said, I don't feel comfortable. This is right. Look at this. And liar, that's liar, my pants on fire. Up, look at this. My they ears pricked there. up and I said, hold on. There's a black woman in this room that is not comfortable. There's something wrong. And I said, there's a problem. And then Natasha said, there's a problem here. And that's when I said, uh-uh, we got a problem. And then somebody else said, look at his profile picture. And I looked at that profile picture, the one he just showed. And I said, this is not okay. And I said, that's, there's something wrong there. And it was showing about, and that's whenever we kicked him out of that live because he was showing a fascist. Uh, that picture right there is in support of yeah. Nietzsche. And, and I have Nazism. never, and, and I would, I would, I would literally beck and Laurel to post an entire video because I had that live recorded of the entire context, we were trying to stop a kid from going down a road that he didn't know who the author was, didn't know what black, black flag meant. And then the next thing I know, two days later, I'm being accused of wanting to slit throats, which was the account PFP of a guy we were trying to quit getting to be MAGA and fascist. Somehow you put that on me. 
And it was never anything. Yeah, Casey, I said. you're not going to come in here and say differently because y'all are the one that had Georgia uh, block me from his lives now. So any kind of uh, any kind of person that to tell you different can't be here now because y'all turned all okay, my no, friends against no, me. No, no, no. Here's told everybody I was a racist. No, so I you can go ahead him. and and kiss ass on that. Casey, you're right. Librarian called it out because I was driving. I pulled off to look up his profile picture and expand it. Here's the problem, Casey. These other leftists in here, like Laurel and Exo and Wiso, have made videos saying that I was threatening to slit throats when we were talking about Echo's profile picture. And we and can get real nasty because Echo is still on here on another name. You yep. want me to go ahead and, and dig Georgia Pup out of, out, out of there and hurt him when he's going through so much shit now? I don't want to do that. But y'all want to see Sinister? Y'all want to see me get nasty and bitchy and horror? Because I can do that. Laurel, the only time in my life I've said slit throats was in regard to this comment on the kid's PFP that we were trying to reach out to and reform. If that's what you want to think, go for it. But my offer still stands. Leave this live. Don't come into any lives I'm in, and I will stop posting pictures. As long as you keep coming in and saying things in the comment like Travis abuses women, on and on and on, in my friends' lives, I'm not going to stop making videos. You can stop and I'll stop. If you continue, I continue. That's my battle line. It's drawn. And I'm being very nice and professional, not cussing, not name-calling. If you continue to talk about me on live, if you continue to go into rooms I'm in and say things like Travis is an abuser, which you have no proof of, I will continue to make videos. You can stop and I can stop. You all make the decision. That's it. But if you keep doing that, if I keep hanging out with people and you all show up in the comments, then I'm not going to stop making videos. Sorry. All you have to do... Is quick. Why are you laughing? I don't see anything funny about this shit. That's where they're at. Because they just like to cancel people and be a pain in the ass. But if y'all don't oh, want no. me posting if y'all don't want me posting her pictures, then just stop talking about me in live, stop joining and in chat saying ridiculous rude shit about me, and I'll quit making videos with Wiso's face on it. But if you continue to go into lives and if you continue in the comments to talk about me and spread misinformation and lies, I will continue to do what I'm doing. Period. So, stop. Period. All right. It isn't funny when people threaten people's lives. So I was wondering why XO was laughing. Yeah, because I've never threatened anybody's life. Ever. You're right. This is cyber attacking. Everybody just comes on in here when I got alive and just starts snapping. Okay, why so? Then again, for the last time I'm going to say it, stop showing up in lives where I am and saying shit about me. Oh, it's gee, sarcasm is really difficult to understand in text, isn't it? It's a simple thing to do. Here's how easy it is. You just don't say anything. And I'll quit making videos. You can show up. I don't care if you're in the room. You have a right to be here and a right to be involved in the conversation. Stop talking about me for the hundredth time or I will not stop making videos. It is your call. Make a choice. I am not going to go hang out with friends and have you come into the chat and say Travis abuses women. No, I do not. You shut up. I'll shut up. It'll be an easy remedy. Done and done. That's it. Stop talking about me. I'll take the videos I have down now. I will not make another. Do not show up in lives and talk shit to me, to everybody else. That's all I'm asking. That's it. Nothing major. I'm good. Right as rain. So you all stop coming in and making comments. I take down the videos. If it continues tonight and Rose is live, I'm going to make another video. Pick your poison. Either get out and leave me alone, 
go away from rooms I'm in if you can't contain yourself and control yourself or I'm going to make videos. So if you all keep making comments, I'm making another video tonight. And I'm going to keep making them until you all just go away. I'm just asking you to go away and not speak to me. That's all I'm asking. Don't change what you do or the lives you go to. Stop going into lives and making snide comments in the chat about me. And if they continue, I will make snide videos. Done and done. So stop talking in this one tonight and stop talking about me and any others going forward. So EXO just made their comment. Everybody's making a comment. Okay. I will make another video tonight. Obviously, you all don't understand. I'm being very nice about this. I will make another video tonight. Whenever you all decide to quit following me around, I will cease making videos. And that's it. I'm not saying he's not out of pocket, Laurel. Have I been good tonight, I'm saying, Rose? I'm saying like I've been that tonight? His, his being out of pocket should not be brought into someone else's live and be, and be ordered to be their responsibility and their challenge and them to be bullied on their live for someone else to be held responsible. And, and for me, to, for someone else to hold it over my head that I'm platforming somebody else because I'm not going to be bullied into taking somebody down off my live? Oh, y'all can all eat that bag of fucking soggy ass Richards. And I'm not an abuser, but y'all come in and say it. So if you're going to keep doing it, I will keep making videos. Sorry. That's it. Y'all want the videos down? I, <clears throat> he did not say anything in here out of pocket. Y'all came in here. And I told him before y'all came in here. That he was not going to speak against women. That he was going to appropriately behave himself. And I held him to it. And everybody else came in here. When he did not do anything. And he was having a conversation with me. And, oh, don't give me that shit. I don't give a flying fuck ass about that damn gift shit. He came in here. Y'all jumped all over this and demanded that I do something in my life. And let me tell you, I have had no sister loyalty in any other life. So all these women in here hugging and loving on me talk about sister loyalty. We stand for all women together. And, and believe me, when he did something out of pocket, I dropped him the other day. But y'all asking me for this sister loyalty, women stand together and all that after the way I've been treated on this app? Yeah, really? Really? No. But he didn't put anybody in danger on my life. And so you're not fucking hanging that shit on me. And what's frustrating is this group of people thinks they can push and push and push. And then they act scared and shocked. No, and he didn't. made when there's a response. You little high asses came in here and started another fucking brush fire. He didn't say fuck all jack shit. And y'all came in here starting shit again. Every time. Just like when I go into someone's life and I'm going to have a debate or I want to talk to someone. No, Rose, that, that's a raging racist. She can't be here. Bye. Kicked me right out of there. Not, not, not a one of y'all. Coming in there. That's not true. She's an activist. She believes in equality for all. I don't hear no one standing up for me out there. Not a fucking one of y'all. But y'all want to come in here in my life acting like I'm supposed to be like, oh, hand in hand. We all here for Rose. Rose is here for us because we all here sisterhood. Laurel, you all keep coming into lives and saying shit in the live, which I do have screenshots of. 
Hence why I'm not going to quit making the videos. I've asked y'all to go away and simply not show up in the lives I'm in. And if you do, hang out, that's fine. Talk to whoever. Quit insulting me in random lives. And then I will stop making her videos. You said I ain't get nothing out of it to protect nobody. You're asking me to defend some, to to stand behind people that have basically stabbed me in the back. Oh, it's okay. Go did you stab me in the back the other day? Okay. Oh, now I'm gonna protect you after you stabbed me in the back? No problem. Really? That's what you want from me. You haughty ass little bitches that turned your back on me that believed that believed that I said the n-word that believed that I told someone that they were not black enough you believed that shit about me and then you have the cojones to come in here and ask me for anything to fuck all y'all that's right. Anybody that's listening, these women believed that I said the N word, S believed these troll accounts that said, that went out here and said this shit, that believed that shit. They believed that shit, that I said that shit. I didn't think you did. And I go into lives and they spread that shit and I get kicked out of lives. And this has been going on for months. So, Rose, to be honest with this group, and they're going to deny it, but I'll tell you the honest God's truth. I was made privy to a lie. I went on a backup. I said I was going to get off TikTok for a while and take a break. I will not be here. I kept a backup so, account so, so to hang out. So, as far as all that, this group, they don't right deserve here, my loyalty. So, Rose, this group right here, this group in your chat, when I said I'm leaving, completely abandoned me, and I saw posted lives of them now focusing on me. Their goal is to get people to quit the app, and then when I came back, the focus went back onto me. That is who these people are, and this is all they do. They have no life. They have no platform. They have nothing to right, stand because, for. Right, because the more I stand up to them... Other people follow me, and when they follow me and I follow them back, they message me and they say, I got kicked off this app. I was, I was banned from this app. They bullied me off this app. Hundreds of people bullied me off this app. Whoa. I have dozens of people who now follow me that have been bullied off this app or have had other people bully them. They've had to change yep. their profile, change their name, change their who they say they are. And because well, if you, just you know what? My name Every up, time somebody talks to me about it. that, that gives me more fire to fight bullies. So yeah, when I'm not on TikTok, I fight for everybody's right. And here so on this, TikTok, so I, women, fight, I fight my iPad words, and make another video right quick. But I will not stand for bullying. And this two-faced shit Be right back. can shove it all the way. Yeah, this is the sad part where like... Yeah, I'm a woman, but I don't stand it. for women's rights. You go ahead with that backwards bullshit. I've been fighting racist for a long See, what y'all don't fucking know when you sit there and call somebody a racist is that I actually have a multi-racist family. I'm from a family of different races. I actually am married to an indigenous man with an indigenous child who happens to be trans. But you're going to sit there and call me a and racist, like you fucking don't know who in the hell you're damn talking to. Oh, but there you go. You're gonna fucking accuse me of tokenizing with your fucking bullshit. I even don't give a shit. 
oh, oh no, why don't you go back and you go look up No Cap and you look up Shanta uh, and all these other women that post all these videos or go look up Randy's T and all these other people that post these videos that find it so awesome to humiliate people because they try to make people feel so bad about themselves that they're going to hurt themselves. Why don't you go after all these bullies that really do damage? All right, Laurel. Well, the next video is up already. It's posted right now to my main. Really? Yep. And how yeah, am I supposed it. to tell which bu bullies are who? How am I supposed to tell the hundreds of people from coming after me from the hundreds of people coming after him? Or the hundreds of people that are coming after one of my other friends? Or the hundreds of people that are coming after them? Laurel, where have I threatened to hurt you? Where have I threatened to hurt you? Because I don't do violence. That's not me. I don't do violence. What if I threaten to hurt you? You are so meaningless to me. I would never risk a assault charge or a stalking charge or a felony over you. I don't care about you. I don't threaten to harm you because I don't care. Like, I literally don't care. So, my next YSO video is up. Y'all continue to do this. I'll just keep posting them. Sorry. You want to know the kind of things they put on YouTube about me, about y'all? Go to Rosebud 1668 YouTube. Because I've been downloading these videos to show people the kind of bullies that I've been dealing with. You go to my YouTube. Yeah, nobody cares about me, but you want me to stand against somebody that actually does care about me. Right. Hey, Exo, I told you if you all yeah. did not stop talking about me, if you, you all don't, did not agree, you quit don't, lives, you want me, to. You want me to turn against my friends and side with those who don't give a fuck about me. You hear how, what you sound like? To the crazy lady, by the way. Laurel, I said simply, if you all quit talking about me in lives, I won't post anymore. That See, is very you keep saying, and nice about it. You keep saying Travis abuses women. You keep saying all these things. But you know what? There's a, a big part of my brain that doesn't believe fuck all you say. How's that? And me. you're just going to keep spamming it over and over and So, over. I mean, what you're saying sounds like conservative bullshit re on repeat. It sounds like Trump won in 2020, Trump won in 2020, Trump won in 2020. That's what you sound like. Okay. And I offered you all an easy out, which was just don't talk about me. That's all I offered. Don't talk about me. So, don't so when you sit here and, and say shit. he's abusive to you, I'm going to turn around and say, I don't believe you. So you all can quit coming to my lives and raising hell on other people's platforms. Who didn't ask you go it. ahead and you warn everybody. Everybody already has this big hate crowd for me anyway. What am I got to lose to a few more women talking shit about me? Huh? How? What What am I got to lose? Everybody that already uh, accepts gossip and accepts lies about me has already turned against me. So you tell me. You tell me. What, what do I got to lose by not listening to your bullshit? Hey, and for this user... Um... Oh, and you can record me all fucking day long. Because according to TikTok, I got this on recording too. And who knows, I might also be screen recording every single time I go on this, TikTok. For this moron who said, knows? I said the F-slur? Yeah, I did. About five months ago. And I apologized to the entire room and stepped out of the box because I was angry with somebody. And yeah, I made a mistake. And I apologized to the entire room that night. But you keep coming into lives saying that as if the second part didn't happen. So as long as you're going to twist it and leave stuff out, I'm going to continue to make videos. And she can deal with it. 
she can cope. Period. Or you can just quit coming into lives and running your mouth. That's all you have to do is just not speak. Really easy. Otherwise, I'm going to keep making the videos. Sorry. I have no idea what you're talking about with Kayleen. Is that the girl you all hated forever ago and couldn't stand? Nobody's silencing women. I'm saying quit making up lies. I want to know a specific where I've physically <laughs> Evidently abused. not all women. No, you pro Evidently. only protect the women that you want to protect, right? You only protect the women you want to protect. You only protect the ones you think are worthy of protecting. Get it right. You only protect the ones that you want to protect. Don't come on here telling me you protect women. Yeah. Let's get it right. You're saying I'm an abuser. I want to know who I've physically abused in my life. What woman have I put my hands on for you all to put that in comments on live? And you want to whine and cry about Wiso's profile picture being set up or her personal picture being up. Seek therapy and get over it. I will stop when you stop. If you feel like it's necessary for you to keep doing this, keep doing it. There are consequences to free speech. Your ex, the domestic violent case. Which ex and what domestic violence case? <laughs> I have no domestic violence case, Laurel. None. I have no domestic violence case. I have three speeding tickets on my background check, and that is it. Oh, Jay, I have no you do not domestic need to come in here opening your pie hole. I have no domestic violence on my record. None. There are just certain people in here that do not even need to come in here open in their mouth. That's just fact. They've given okay. me so much Laurel, disrespect Laurel, in the last send several it months. To me. Laurel, send it to me. Send it to me. I have no arrest record in my life. None. Oh, Google it myself. All right. What, what would you like me to Google? Tell me what to type into Google so I can search this up. Y'all tell me what to type in. Come on, Mitch. Tell me what to type in to find a physical, confrontational, beat people up background. Uh, let's see. No, just tell me what happens after. No, after my name. <laughs> Which, Rose, by the way, how this means, they've stalked down and found my last name, even though I've never put it public on here. Also kind of weirdo. Nobody docks anybody on my live. Travis, I don't want you asking anybody to dox you on this slide. No, they already have the info understanding they will. That's a paid site. You need the Oklahoma website. Uh, let me see here. I can make this real easy.
Oh, uh, I have straight, but here's the problem. They can't get into my hosted live. They can easily come to where I'm a guest. Okay, so I'm here on OSC. Yeah, they, they can't, they, unless, they're, unless I have them blocked. I do have some people right. blocked, but only, only people that have become extremely toxic. Which would be this pathetic group. Mm. Right, hold on. They have, up. up until now, the same people that are extremely they have not been kind to me, that, but up until now they've not they have not been the toxic people. The toxic people have I don't even talk to them. I don't even mention their name because I'm afraid they'll show up. Okay, so I am on. Here we go. We're going to do these all together. So we're all on the same page. Hang tight. We're going to do these all together. Okay. So here's this one. What are one. you doing? What is looking that? At my, looking at my criminal record. This is a speeding ticket in Love County, coming up from Dallas. Just a speeding ticket. Scroll up to here. And then here is, is my Is that your of, actual information? A little bit, but this is my divorce on the bottom. Don't do that. Don't. And then there's. I'm going to drop you, tickets. Travis. Don't do that. Laurel, you all think you have a criminal case, and you don't. I have no misdemeanor or felony background at all. None. Zero. So when you all pop into lies and say things like, Travis is an abuser, he abuses women. I'm not going to quit making videos of LISO. I was told years ago by a manager, when I was a district manager for Sprint, it was my area director, he said, never, ever, ever underestimate the reaction of a cornered animal. And you all just keep pushing and pushing and pushing, so I will make videos now. You can stop pushing and go away and do whatever it is you do somewhere else, or you can continue to stalk me, and I will not quit making the videos. Sorry. It's going to be an even, exactly the same energy. That's what it's going to be. No, really, they're saying that I abuse women. They're going around the in laws saying Travis abuses women. How is it hurting me more to stand up for when people say I abuse women? That's what I don't get. It's almost like, let's just let them talk. The thing is, moderate, Travis really didn't do anything when he came in here. That every time he comes in here or every time he comes live, they just come in here and like troll him. If he was in here saying something off point, I would have dropped him like I did before. I warned him before he came in not to say anything abusive, not to say anything off point, to be respectable. He was not disrespectable. He did not say anything off point. Everybody came in here after him and started flaming on him. Yeah, my thing is, is how far, Rudy, do you expect people to push me where I don't fire back? Like, how long? It's been since March. It's been nine months. How long before I don't fire back and do something in defense? And what I told Rose was, I'm not yelling anymore. I'm not cussing anymore. I'm not name calling anymore. I want them to just simply stop. And they've said they will not. Yeah, and Rudy kicked me for that. And Rudy and I have talked about that. Yes, we talked about that that night. I have the messages Rudy sent me that night, and I sent the ones to him, saying, hey, I apologize for being on your live. He's, hey, I'm just dropping you because I know you're heated. We talked about it. But and, for this, this group right here, I want to be very clear. I want to be very clear on this group. This group between Laurel, Exo, Wiso have told me the, the moderate Democrat is trash. 
and they have talked shit about him for months to me. Non-stop. But when it benefits them... I am not about all this gossip trying to make enemies. I'm just... All I'm saying is that I don't think it's right for people to just come at somebody for no reason. If you don't like somebody, block them, let them keep them out of your life so that you don't have to listen to whatever they're saying you don't like. It's an app. Block them. That's what the block feature is for. Everybody that doesn't want to hear them can block them. That It's not to be haunting people wherever they go and making their life absolutely miserable. It, why is that a thing? Rudy, I don't understand the whole get off the live thing. Like, we literally just started not hanging out. We weren't talking about politics or anything crazy. We were just hanging out, and here they come. That's what I don't get. No, what it says is the fact that you're ready to hang me and tell me what to do on my live over something that didn't happen on my live. I didn't order to happen on my live. I didn't ask to happen on my live. And I didn't condone in the first place. But you're going to hang on me simply because I'm a friend with somebody that is associated with something. Tells me more about you. Tells me how judgmental you are. Tells me what a hater you are. And tells me all I need to know about who you are. Oh, I think Rudy's still at work. I have no history, no criminal record of abusing women. So please stop saying it. It's defamation and libel. You keep saying it with no proof. I want the proof rule that I abuse women. I also want you all to quit going live to live and saying it. Simple request. Easy. If you're not going to do it, yep. then I will continue to make videos. Or, sorry. Sorry. You're going to have to learn to cope. And I've gotten to the point where so many people have hated on me for five months now. I don't believe anything they say. I'm not threatening anybody in here. I'm saying if you don't quit coming into lives and spreading false information about me, then I'm not going to quit posting videos. That's not a threat. It's a quid pro quo. Simple. Oh, that's not her? Okay, hold on. I'll change it. Give me a sec. My bad. Okay. Sorry, we'll get rid of that one. Uh, let's see here. I'm not doxing kids. How am I doxing kids? Make it make sense. No kids. So, names for the record, mention. for the record, doxing is when you give out information on public internet about somebody that where you could find or, or hurt them in real life. So, you're saying that when he's doxing kids, he's giving out their private information where somebody could actually hurt them in real life. Yes, and I've not done that. I right, sorry, that one's gone. Put up a new one. There you go. 
And he has not done that on this live. I don't have pictures of her kids, Mitch. Where are the pictures of her kids? He's talking about posting pictures. I could be talking about posting pictures of an African elephant on a poster board. What is up with you people? He's not threatening children directly. He's he's responding to people coming in from another part of the map. Good grief. And again, where was the loyalty for me? I have a pretty popular name on this app. And, the, and 787 people watched me on a live with people accusing me of some pretty heinous shit after I said in front of all those people that that shit wasn't true. I didn't hear a bunch of people. I haven't heard a bunch of people coming to my defense saying, well, I know you did, wouldn't do that. I know you didn't say that. Right. You don't know me. But I'm telling you right now, when I was in Georgia Pups Live with Travis, you guys were in there talking all kinds of shit. Right along with what they were saying about Travis. And oh, Rosebud's a racist. And oh, we can't platform those kind of people. And oh, getting on him about getting me out of there. And oh, this and this and that. Oh, see, there we go. I am, right? But I'm supposed to stand up for others. What comes around goes around. I always believe that whether you want to believe in what God decides, whether it's karma, yin for yang, whatever. I've stood my ground for five fucking months. A horde of motherfuckers calling me a racist on this app. And I've stood it by myself. They're in the room right now saying it. Kicked out of countless rooms, countless lives. Oh, you can question whatever you want. I don't give a shit what anyone thinks about me on this app anymore. I know who the fuck I am. I had to figure that out. So it doesn't matter what anyone thinks about me on this app. I know who I am when I'm not on this app. I am mad because that video has been shared far and wide on activist TikTok. If you stand for equal rights, you have seen that shit. You have heard about this shit. And I don't believe you haven't. So if you've heard this shit and you have been quiet and you know me. No. I've never threatened anyone. I've promised people that have threatened my campaign that I would keep notes of it because that's a federal offense. But I don't threaten. 
Because I'm not a dumbass January 6th moron. If I do something, I just go fucking do it. You think I won't? I've been told I can't do shit my whole fucking life. From the time I could walk. You ain't the first motherfucker who told me I couldn't do something, so you go ahead and get in line with the rest of them. 